sorry, don't know what happened there. I uh, got my spare set of glasses located here. These are my, what is that? My old man reading glasses. All right. And they've got their own pocket. Moving forward, uh, USB-C um, cable for my phone. I got this uh, juice pack from, what is this? Drone World, because it came with my Mavic Adventure Pack when I bought my DJI Mavic. 10,400 milliamps of hour or whatever that is. Uh, you know, the, the Mophies or the smaller juice packs, they're only about 2,600, 4,000. So this thing's got a lot of juice to it, um, and it just seems to uh, fill up fast and whatever. So I like it. It's a it, That's my everyday... Um, juice pack, and I don't even know what company makes it. All right, moving on. What else we got? Uh, Sham Wow or Terry Cloth Walmart or uh, Shammy Walmart towel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, really, really good for absorbing sweat, drying off the dog, um, cleaning up uh, messes. You know, they're, they're fairly inexpensive. If uh, my dog has an accident in the airport or whatever, I can uh, sponge it up with this, then just throw it in a trash can and forget about it. Um, nicotine gum quit dipping a couple years ago good to go Neutrogena 100 SPF a million rich white girls cannot be wrong this stuff is legit alright what else uh, extra torch uh, backup torch this is a uh, Defender Ultra um, I normally carry a 3 cell 1000 P uh, Fury in here or 1000 Lumen Fury. I don't know where that's at. Uh, this is a Blue Force Gear uh, 10 speed pouch. The bag that I have has got Velcro on the inside, and that is a double pistol in the event that I want to carry ammo off, off body carry. Uh, but since I was flying, that was not that was not gonna happen yesterday. All right, um, multitasker tool. Uh, donated by Sock F. This is pretty pretty handy little piece of kit. As you can see, you got the two-hole two aim point micro um, windage and elevation adjustment right there. Uh, la, 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 la. Right in the rain, ink pen. Sharpie. Uh. Earplugs. Surefire helmet lamp, headlamp, excuse me. Comb, because now that I don't have any hair, I started trying to have hair. And Samsung earbuds in a charge case. Uh, these are really good for um, listening to music, also hands-free phone conversations. Uh, and because they're an earbud design, uh, they're pretty good for uh, surveillance type, uh, physical surveillance type operations as well. And that covers the, the regular main pouch. All right, so going into the bag, uh, got extra, extra badge. Dog bowl. This thing's pretty awesome. I like it. Both the puppy. What? Um, moving on, laptop, not part of my EDC, it is a, uh, Razer something, like gaming laptop, if you're looking for laptops, I'm not your guy, alright, first, first aid item, uh, Halo chest seal, this is the large, and there are two complete seals in here, this would probably cover, Four entrance and exit wounds easily. Uh, so, you know, a couple of gunshot victims there if I needed it. And it takes up no space. It slides all the way back and it, it stays flat up against my body. All right. Now we've got show swag. From the off-road show. 
Okay, next usable items are, um, I got a set of uh, SKD lightweight pig gloves in there. You never know we're gonna need to have gloves, help uh, just helping a buddy carry a piece of furniture, whatever. I've got a uh, cravat, uh, triangular shaped military bandage. I've got it wrapped, uh, unwrapped, and then folded to um, to be long and thin, about four inches wide. And coupled it with uh, a SAM splint. So this is for uh, splinting, as you guys know, uh, that are fo that follow me. I had that incident down in um, on the hiking trail where the kid biffed off the, the wall and had a snapped uh, humerus. So I didn't have any splinting material on me. So I went ahead and started carrying a SAM again uh, in case I have to deal with a, a fracture which, you know, a kid falling off a bike or hurting themselves playing is is way more probable uh, than an active shooter. So, let's see. Got my other pig glove, show swag, and some more gum, chewed up cap for my dog and my show badge. All right, so that pretty much covers the main compartment. Now, we get to the main event, which is what all you guys really cared about anyway, uh, which was what cool guy, sexy ninja medical gear do I have? Uh, right out of the bag, I have poop bags. <sighs> Sorry. Poop bags for the dog. Um, I'm carrying regular nitronel gloves. I don't know, a handful. Uh, I just don't have any black talon, uh, North American black talon gloves, which are my glove of choice. You know, you retire, you don't have access to free shit anymore. You just kind of get gloves wherever you can get them, so... You know, I got a handful of gloves. They're all XL, so I know they're going to fit me and not pop off. Uh, kind of had my medical arranged in a certain way, but I can't remember why. I put it in there in a certain reason for a purpose. But obviously, these two these two top pieces here are the tourniquets, so I can get those out. I've got two styles here. I've got a uh, RevMed uh, ratchet style. The ratchet styles apply a lot of pressure and can be put on really, really fast in self-aid they're not the best or most versatile tourniquet but if you need to stop bleeding by yourself with one hand quickly this is this is pretty good kit uh i've got a cat because cats are more versatile everybody knows how to use cat uh i've got it pre-rigged no i do not i need to go back and re-rig uh, this thing uh to go on but uh so there you go Um, moving forward, Israeli bandage, always, you've got your direct pressure, pressure dressing, uh, moving down, roll of Curlex, Curlex is kind of towards the top. Uh, in the event that I need to do some serious wound packing. Along with that, I've got two different types of hemostatic gauze. I've got your uh, quick clock combat gauze, and I've got your chitis and chita gauze for hemorrhage control. Uh, next to that, unwrapped and ready to go, I have a 6-inch ace wrap, which coupled with either the Curlex or something else can also be used as a pressure dressing. Double EpiPens. Because the chances of somebody having an allergic reaction and going into anaphylactic shock when you are around are greater than the chances of you having to conduct a mag change in an active shooter drill. What else? What's this? Battle wrap. Battle wrap is like Clear packing tape, but for human beings. Uh, you basically can use it for pressure dressing. You can rip a t-shirt off somebody and use that for bleeding control. And uh, the battle wrap allows you to provide pressure and, uh, and hold things in place um, if you need it. So a roll of battle wrap and then a bunch of people's clothing and you've got multiple bleeding control options available to you. So I, I like that. Battle wrap's good stuff. Um, 
Okay, up on top in my keepers, I've got three chem lights on lanyards for marking people, places, things, whatever. And I have three North American Rescue uh, chest decompression needles, 14 gauge. Um, if anybody's curious, I've flown with these at least... 15 times since I started carrying them, and I've never had a TSA agent question me having needles in my bag, in my carry-on. All of this was on the plane last night. Uh, going down further, I have a third uh, tourniquet. This is a another ratchet-style, excuse me, another ratchet-style tourniquet. Three inch, no, four inch, four inch ace wrap. Again, can be coupled with other things. I like multi-use uh, multi items. This trauma dressing is really, really good, but it's a one trick pony. The only thing it is, is a pressure dressing. These other things can be added together and make pressure dressings. So that's cool. All right, and then last but not least, I've got, oops. One, two, three cravats, triangular dressings, and that's that's it. Bag's empty. Uh, these triangle-shaped dressings, uh, you can do everything from splint um, busted arms. Uh, you can lash things to a human being for like splinting purposes. Uh, you can they, they they're not very very absorbent, but you could ball them up and then stick them under a battle wrap. Uh, to, to pack something or to, or to have bleeding control as well. They're just really, really good. Uh, each one of them comes with two safety pins. Safety pins are also very, very cool. So um, all of this crap is pretty much what I carry in my bag all the time, uh, minus the, the laptop and the bows. Everything else is, uh, is, is that's, that's every day for me. Uh, guys that have seen me, guys that know, uh, I always have my man bag on me. My, I carry my satchel pretty much wherever I go, and I feel pretty comfortable with that. You know, obviously, if I thought I was going to get in a gunfight, uh, I might put some extra mags in it or something or whatever. But walking out of the house every day with the stuff that I need to take care of the dog and take care of myself, this bag uh, works very, very well for me. Uh, with the laptop and the bows removed, I normally have a water bottle in there for the pup and an extra can of Monster in there for me in case I start dragging ass. So that's it. That's my super whatever. You just saw me drag my overnight bag out and dump it out in front of you video. I'll be doing some more stuff, showing some more stuff in the future. I'm going to start populating my YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe or follow or whatever, uh, you know, I'm, this this is kind of going to be the format for the near future. Is uh, you know, this is what I got going on, and this is why. Food for thought. That's all I got. You guys be good to each other.